Hello everyone. Today we have a new product to review and this is from Vivor. Um, we've um, dealt with some products with them before, some high quality products, and uh, we decided to review this one which is a towel warmer bucket. Um, this is a 25 liter towel heater model number E1676. Um, like I say, its capacity is 25 liters, so it holds quite a bit. It's freestanding, um, doesn't have to be attached to anything, so you can move it around anywhere that you would need that. Uh, it does need to be plugged in, um, so if you have a small bathroom, you may want to think about um, where you want to put that. Um, you may have to set it just outside of the bathroom if there's a plug available there, or just find a good place for that. Um, if you look at the specs, um, it is 110 volts, 450 watts, so it's powerful. Um, this is what we've got here. And um, I believe we're going to just go ahead and uh, get into the box here and see what's inside. So um, this particular box was had kind of a rough time in shipping. But as you can see, it's well packed with styrofoam, so I expect it'll be okay. Um, high bumper. This is our cat bumper, in case you can uh, see him. Um, inside, we have the product, and it does appear to be packaged upside down, but I imagine that's for a good reason. Um, I would suspect that it's probably easier to get this out um, if it's turned upside down and uh, so what I'm going to do is take this and yes our cat just decided to join us on the table watch out bumper so he just wants the box <laughs> here we go let's see what we got all right I imagine the cat will exit the scene now okay uh, I guess as it turns out, it wasn't actually upside down. Um, when you flip it over, I couldn't quite see the feet around there, but um, it is wrapped in plastic here. And that was a convenient way to get it out of the box. Um, here we have the uh, bottom of the unit, and uh, it's got some little rubber feet on here to keep it from sliding around when you set it down. And the cord has a ground. Little plastic cover on there to take off. And reasonable length cord so you don't have to be right up next to the outlet when you're plugging it in. See, there's a little door here, and I'm not 100% certain what it's for yet because we haven't looked at the uh, instruction manual yet, but we'll find that out later. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. It does have the insert in the middle, um, which you might think would be inconvenient, but I believe that is actually going to help the towels or, you know, robes or, you know, any type of thing that you would want to put in here to be warmed evenly through. Uh, we do have an instruction manual, which we'll look at in a moment. We'll put this up here. We have the display here. The lid is wrapped in plastic with a desiccant. And the lid has a nice handle. We got some vents up here, and I believe from what I read, this little slot right here is so that you can put in a little pad and put in either essential oils or some type of uh, aromatherapy, so that when you put your towels or your robe, your pajamas, whatever it is inside of here, and it gets heated through, it smells wonderful too. So, um, going to take a look at this instruction manual, and we'll be right back and uh, let you know more about the Vivora product that we have here, which is a towel warmer. Hello again. We're back here with the Vivora 25 liter towel warmer bucket. 
and um, I've had a chance to look at the instruction manual and uh, to explain the little door on the bottom it is a bonus holder for your fragrance disc which is not included um, but should be pretty easy to find something to put in there to put your essential oils on if you choose to do so. Um, the actual place where you would put it I believe is under the lid but if you don't want to use that option you can place it down here for storage so that you don't lose it. I'm going to flip this up here and um, we do have some instructions um, that need to be pointed out here. The inside of this is going to be very hot as it's turned on and there's a warning reminder here that caution, hot surface, avoid contact and um, that is because the heating process um, on high heats for 20 minutes or 40, 60, or 90, um, those are your options, um, 248 degrees Fahrenheit, and it maintains 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. On the low setting, it heats for 25 minutes to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, and then maintains 131 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So those are some pretty hot temperatures, and uh, you don't want to burn yourself, so please be careful. Um, when it is on, do not touch that inside because you don't want to get a burn. Um, another neat feature, they have designed the handle so that when you are not using it um, and you want to leave it open or you just need to have a place to set this, you can place this on the edge there, and it's the perfect size to hold that on the back of the bucket. Um, going to go ahead um, and also explain that because of those high temperatures you probably want to put things that are cotton um, inside of this, anything that can withstand a higher temperature. Uh, you probably don't want to put your delicates in there, anything that's like polyester um, because you don't want your uh, clothes to melt. So. Um, just a warning there, stick with something that can withstand the high temperatures. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, plug it in with that grounded plug. Put that in there. As you can see, the, the screen comes on for just a moment. I've selected some towels here and um, kind of a pajama robe option here because you might want to use this in the winter, whenever the weather's cold. Um, if you just have a chill in the air, um, you could use it for clothing. You could use it for um, towels um, when you get out of the shower. Um, you could put your blankets in there. It holds a decent amount of um, material inside. And um, the two towels that I have here, one is 48 by 27 inches and the other one's 54 by 29. And we have them kind of loosely rolled up. If you roll them too tight, it, the process might slow down a little bit with the warming. So we're just going to place these in, rolled up. We have our second towel in here. So that's two pretty large towels in there. And we have some pajamas here. Nice, warm, very large size, and that's being placed in here as well. Uh, because this is a demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use my candy thermometer so we can get a rough idea of um, how hot it gets by the time you open it. So, um, according to what I read, it does take about a minute to do the preheat on this. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, it's going to get hot in there. I will verify basically just without actually touching it that it's starting to get warm in there and we'll put the lid on. Um, I'll show you the um, screen here. We're going to turn it on with this button right here. That gives you your option for your settings. So we have 60, starts at 60, goes to 90 and 20 and 40 and keep cycling through. Um, so we're going to do a short cycle here. Um, since we're doing this demonstration, we're not going to show the entire time because that would just be boring. But you have your option here to select high or low. And um, 
We'll start with a low here. The button does light up so you can see which one is selected. And um, now that we have that set there, I'm starting to feel some heat coming out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that lid on here. And sit back and watch the process. Right now, the outside of the unit is nice and cool. Um, it is made from flame retardant materials to keep you and your family safe. And um, it also is equipped with a red indicator light when it's on um, to show you that there's a danger that you definitely should not be touching this thing inside. So when it's heating up, the red light comes on to keep you safe. Um, so if you were using the fragrance disc, which is not included, um, you would place that underneath the lid and uh, put whatever fragr fragrance that you would like in there. Um, it's designed to heat evenly. And um, the product, in case you're curious, weighs um, about 8.82 pounds. And so it's nice and lightweight, easy to move. Um, it looks nice. And it's got conveniently sized handle on there. It's lifted off the floor. Um, you should place it on a hard surface. And uh, so basically, we're just going to kind of sit back here. The Like I say, the outside of this unit is still um, nice and cool. But the heat is starting to build up inside. And it appears to be counting down on the timer. Um, for when this is done, and that would be convenient, your time settings, um, in case you're wondering why would you need to have those time settings, like say you want to get in the shower, um, you know, you don't want to leave the thing running for too long, um, but you can set it for whatever the appropriate amount of time is, and um, by the time you're done, it's nice and roasty toasty, and you can enjoy that experience. So. We're just going to let this go for a little while, and when it's done, we'll open it up and we'll check that temperature and see what's going on in there. Welcome back. Um, we've just run the Vivor um, towel warmer through a 20 minute um, low cycle, and we're about to see what happened. The outside of the unit is warm, but it's not super crazy hot. Um, the lid is just barely warm, handles nice and cool. Uh, you want to be careful when you open this up to make sure that any steam or anything there's um, when you're putting the towels or whatever you're putting in there you want to make sure that they're dry but some condensation is normal in this process apparently um, so just in case we've never used this before I'm going to go ahead and lift so that it opens up away from me to make sure that anything that's hot doesn't get me on the way out so um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up here. Uh, currently, we are at right about the um, 115, 120, or actually 120, 125. A little hard to read the candy thermometer. Um, so, um, it's a little bit lower on this thermometer, but that is only at the top, so more than likely it's probably warmer down in there. Um, feeling just the towels, I'm not touching the sides because it could still be hot, but um, I am feeling a good amount of warmth, and I think if I was just getting out of the shower, that would be pretty enjoyable. Um, so um, we're gonna go ahead and put this on for one more cycle. That was low, and we're going to check it on high and uh, see what happens. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. And we're going to turn it back on with the left button. We're going to go back down to 20. And it's now on high. So we're going to let that go. and. Um, also keep in mind that was only a 20 minute cycle and possibly if it was on for a longer cycle it may have been slightly warmer in there. Um, so 
um, but it was certainly warm enough um, to give you some nice comfort. So uh, we're going to let this go and let it do its countdown and we'll check back in and check the temperature on that as uh, it finishes up its cycle. Welcome back. Uh, we've just completed the 20 minute cycle on high with the Vivor towel warmer and I'm going to go ahead and carefully open up the top and we're going to see what's inside. Place this down here, being careful not to touch the actual outside. And right now it's at about 127, 128 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but like I said, that's only on the top here. Uh, it's probably not an accurate uh, temperature um, of what's inside of there. Um, the actual thermometer is pretty hot. The since this is the last one, I'm actually going to pull these out and nice and warm on the inside and the outside. Yeah, that that's cooled down a little bit. Pull these other towels out. And they are warmed all the way through. Um, would definitely be cozy if you just got out of the shower. Third towel is in here, and I have to say everything appears to be evenly warmed. Um, so um, all in all, I say it's still warm in here. Um, from what I can see, this is a quite an effective product, and um, I believe that uh, we'll get lots of years of enjoyment out of it and maybe even find some new uses for it um, because it heats things so nicely. Keeping in mind it has to be dry and you don't want to put anything in there that uh, could melt, um, especially your clothing. Um, but there's lots of things that you could put in there. Um, if you're getting your shower and you want to do like your towel and you could do like a, you know, a hair towel along with your regular towel and even uh, like put some nice jammies in there. Um, you can have a thoroughly enjoyable experience. So, um, quite happy with this and looking forward to using it. It's, you know, just slightly warm on the outside, nothing unsafe on the outside. Uh, just keep in mind, you know, watch to see when those red lights go on and don't touch the inside because it could uh, get quite a bit hot. Once again, this is the Vivor 25 liter towel heater, model E1676. Please look in the description and top pinned comment for a link of where you can get yours. Thanks for watching.